Hello and welcome to a, another video of uh, this uh, do-it-yourself do it channel. Today I'm here with my buddy, my buddy dummy, and uh, we are going to install today a ceiling fan. I was called to install two fans. I'm going to show you how to do the first one. Uh, and the problem is that uh, this roof is in an in inclination. It's, it's an angle. It's not it's not flat, but it's no problem. Okay, so let's get started, buddy. Let's do it, man. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the box. I got this uh, this uh, ceiling fan at uh, Lowell's, and uh, it's this is for actually for an outside. And uh, <clears throat> I like it because this is, just, uh, even though it's an enclosed room, I consider it an outside. So I'm just going to put everything outside the box. That gives me a clear view of uh, everything I got. Yeah, because once it it's inside the box, you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, got some light bulbs. Alright, we have the in here. Alright. Got the main motor. of the uh, stuff. I like to have it outside. Okay. Alright, so the first thing you guys gotta do is that you have to shut down the power like that. You know, you gotta find the uh, breaker and cut it off. Make sure there is no electricity. Electricity kills, remember, everybody knows this. So once you know that the electricity is out, we we'll continue with the uh, job. Guys, uh, one thing that you gotta consider when installing a silly fan is that you gotta make sure that it's clear at least 30 inches from every direction on the ceiling fans. All right, that, that's important. And at least seven feet from the ground, otherwise it'll be too low. All right. All right, guys. So on this particular fan, now I'm pretty sure, and all uh, they're all similar. Uh, there is a bracket. All right, and it comes with uh, with this uh, mounting bracket inside. And we're gonna unscrew all four screws. And we're gonna remove that bracket from the inside completely. Okay. And I'm gonna stick it in here on the uh, styrofoam that it came with it. That's a great place to put it so that way you don't lose them. So this is the first step. Second. This one. All right. And we're going to remove the bracket completely out of there. Okay. I'm going to put it and set everything aside. Now, this bracket. We're gonna mount it right on the uh, box. Now, there should be uh, some hardware that it came with uh, this kit, so let's look for it. Okay, I found this little package. I'm gonna open it. Be careful, everything, it's like uh, pretty good uh, separated and, and little bags, which I like that.
okay so you look for the bolt all right guys so I'm gonna connect this bracket these bolts came with uh, the uh, the box not the uh, unit itself okay so we're gonna connect this okay I'm gonna unscrew these bolts it has gaskets right here I'm gonna make it through and I'm gonna connect it or screw it I should say it the bracket itself it has an adjustment so that way you can fit it perfectly on the box okay and uh, you gotta make sure this is really tight and set there you also gotta oh, sorry about the camera you also gotta make sure that the box is pretty well set on top uh, I assume uh, your box is already this one is already uh, set up on wood and it's really strong so okay make sure this is really tight right. this is what's gonna give it the, the action of uh, the uh, inclination all right so it's at an angle so you you you'll see what I'm talking about all right All right, guys, so on this particular fan, on the motor, it comes with these plastic bolts. And uh, we're gonna remove all of them. We're gonna throw those plastic blocks away, but we're gonna keep the screws, in case we need them, all right? Keep them in a safe place. All right, guys, so now we're going to grab the down rod. This is what it's called. It's called the down rod. This thing, this little thing here is the one that it makes, is going to make the balance because of the uh, uh, roof being uh, an inclination. So we're going to grab this one, remove it from the package, and we're going to remove the, uh, this little pin right here, this little pin and the clip, and put them on a safe place so we don't lose it you know uh, like i say i like to use this this is this is how i'm setting all the screws on the uh styrofoam and i'll keep them there <laughs> yeah so now we got the uh the down clip now on the motor this is called the yoke all right, we're gonna remove this little little uh, rubber band out of here, and we're gonna just partially uh, loosen the bolt, so the bolt right here, which is two of them. You don't have to completely remove them, just loosen. And then we're gonna feed the wires. The wires, we're gonna feed them through there. All right guys, so for this uh, next step, 
we're gonna put the black I mean all the wires together and we're gonna pass it through the slider however we have two cones two protectors or two covers that we have to put which is this big one and the small one facing down all right all right so I hope it kind of makes sense so I'm gonna turn it around like this and I'm gonna pass all the wirings and they're all together so that way they can go through one side just like that okay so once they're there we're gonna slide it now I want you to see that uh, these holes they have to align I don't know if he, uh, the camera see it, but those holes, they have to align so that way the pin, we can get the pin through there. All right, so now, so we have the cones, the wiring, everything, and we're gonna stick the pin through there. Kind of wiggle it around. All right. So you came out through the other side. Make sure we put the uh, where is it? where am I? The clip. Okay. Make sure we put this clip. All right, and then we tighten the bolts. Now this is an important step because it needs to be very secure, okay? You cannot miss any of these steps. You gotta do it right, tight, put the pin. So that way, this thing won't fall off on you. So now we got everything done in here. Now we're gonna put this down, just like that. Push it down for the next step, okay? And the next step is just to put it in on top of that thing. All right, let's do it. Holes, so that way you can put the pin through and then tighten these bolts. All right guys, so this uh, fan came with a very long, extremely long uh, cables. That's if you're gonna use an extended rod. Since we're not gonna use an extended rod, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut about eight inches from the uh, uh, down road rod. Yeah, let's measure about eight inches, and we're gonna cut the uh, wires and strip them up. Okay. So I got the wires right here. I give it about eight, eight inches. I'm just gonna cut them up and then we're gonna strip them. I don't have the tool to cut it. I know there is the electricians out there, they're gonna tell me what the heck is that? But uh, I forgot it at my job place, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is a tip, another tip that I use. It's really safe as long as there is no uh, chemicals or explosions near you, but uh, a very safe way to cut this. I'll show you in a minute. All right, guys. So I got the the wire, and what I don't want to do is use a knife or whatever to cut it because I forgot my uh, strip, you know, to strip the uh, wires. So this is a uh, very uncommon but very effective way with a match. Just burn as much as you want to cut off. Let it cool off a little bit. And then with a real fast stroke, you peel off the wire. See, you didn't cut off any of the wires. They're all safe. Again, this is just a tip. Not recommended for kids. 
but this is a very effective way to cut the uh, uh, or to strip the wire without damaging the uh, wires. If you don't have this again, the wire stripper, this is one way to do it. A very uh, fast stroke, and you got it. All right. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So now we're ready to install the motor up there. Okay. Now I want you to see the slots on the ball. Now we're gonna have to align that over there, and I'll show you where. Okay. I want you to see this notch. There is a notch right there. That it has to be aligned with at least one of the. Uh, with the uh, slots right there. There you go. You see that snap like, oh, that was it. So I want you to see the angle. You know, this is perfectly down and we got the wires right there. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's continue. So now we're gonna proceed with the uh, connections. And I want you to see the black and blue wire. They always go together. This is the power, is the juice, and this is the one that is gonna have the power. The reason it's got the blue together is so that way it can make the fan and the light to turn on. I believe the black is for the uh, uh, fan and the blue for the light so that way you can they can work independently if you want the fan only all right so we're going to connect this to the black all right with the black the white wire, the white, it's gonna go with the neutral. I'm gonna put that uh, inside. It's always a good idea to put black tape on it. Uh, that will be great if you have uh, electrical tape. And connect the white, uh, which is the neutral. You don't have to twist. You don't have to twist the wires together down there because the wire nut does that job and if you twist them you may give them the chance to to uh, break all right and last but not least is the ground is the ground wire which is going to be together too Once everything is connected, we're just gonna stick it inside the wire box. All right, we'll finish. That's the connections are. It's done. All right, is that how simple it is? All right, so the connection is this: is blue and black together with the black coming from the uh, power, and then the white with white and green with green. Okay, guys. So let's continue. All right, guys. So. Now before any do anything else or installing the uh, down rod, make sure we're gonna pass the bracket first. Once we have this cover bracket, we're gonna introduce, we're gonna put all the uh, wirings together and uh, we're gonna introduce them to there so that we, they can go through only one side. You don't want all stuff. Now, once we have the cover, we can proceed and do the uh, installation of the uh, yoke. All right, guys. So remember the four screws that we got. 
the first one we removed we're gonna install one there and the other one on the other side just barely so that way we can align this all right so what once is set like that we can screw the other one the uh, installation of this box it wasn't done right it was supposed to be a little bit uh, more uh, inside the box but that's a problem of the installation so what we're gonna do is install it like right now like the way it is and um, uh, later I'm gonna send somebody to cover that hole somehow uh, this is not a, a defect of the uh, fan it's a problem for with the installation of the uh, box all right yours it shouldn't be like that all right So we got everything done, everything's tight. Let's continue with the next step. All right guys, so on this particular blades, it has a design. Um, so we're gonna grab the bracket and we're gonna install it underneath like this. And through this side, that's where the screws are gonna be. And I'm going to show you the pattern of the screws the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so this is the pattern in which it's going to go. So it's going to be one bolt, one metal washer, and one rubber washer. And this is going to be... Uh, And this is going to be screwed in each one of the holes and on all the uh, blades. All right. So let's do that. Let's do that on every blade. Okay. And we'll come back. All right, guys. So. I'm down to the last blade that I put the bracket. Now it's time for uh, to do the next step. All right, let's move on. All right, guys. All right, guys. I remember the bolts that we removed from the motor uh, with the plastic bracket. But that's the same bolt that we're going to be using to install the blades on the motor. So let's get that. Let's get that done. So I want you to take a look at the pattern, and that's how the blade is going to go. Just like that on those holes. So let's get it done. Okay, guys. So the way it's gonna work is so we're gonna grab one bolt. I'm gonna introduce it right there and install it. Okay. Before I completely tighten it, the bolt. Sorry guys, the camera moved, but uh, let's see, let's see if I can fix that out. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get the other side of the uh, fan. All right, so I got these two, tighten them up really good and do all the rest of them. And I'll come back to the video whenever I install the rest of them. You know how to do it. Just put uh, those two bolts on it, all right? Let's do it. Alright guys, so I'm down to the last blade, I got all the blades down, or installed, and I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is I'm getting closer to be finished. Alright, okay, I'm gonna get uh, this wiring free, alright, and I'm gonna remove this one bolt, I'm gonna completely remove it. And I'm just gonna loosen the other ones. I'm gonna loosen up, uh, uh, loosen up a little bit. Okay. Okay, 
They're just loose, and I'll show you why. All right. So, we're going to get the uh, wires through the middle of there. Like that, and the ones we got loose, we're going to try to... So, I got those two. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna insert the bolt that it was that I, the one that I removed. Make sure it aligns the hole. And once it aligns the hole, screw it. Okay, so I got all three screws connected right there. Now we have to plug these two in. You see how they have a, uh, an orange sticker? They gotta align those two. Okay, now it's connected. All right, we're gonna get the wires off of this. Okay. All right, guys. So we are in the final process of installing the last part of the uh, light, which is a plate, which contains the light. Now, this has two uh, pre-wire uh, connections. They already uh, uh, have the connection, so that way we can just uh, plug it in. Anyway. Now the way this goes is you connect the blue and the white. Uh, the white, it goes with the white, and the black with the blue, okay? But first we have to remove this uh, bolts from here okay guys so this is a tricky part because you see that hole that it has over there that's gonna be for the chain and you gotta make sure that hole is aligned with the chain so that way it makes it proper um, connections okay. so we're gonna get this line the wires we're gonna get them out of there and we're ready to make those connections, okay? Okay, so I hope the camera can see this. But uh, I'm gonna make the uh, connections. The blue with the black. And the white with the white. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna get the uh, cable and I'm gonna make sure all the uh, bolts on top are, are aligned. The camera is not able to get that, but I'm gonna show you in a minute. How is that gonna work? Gotta put just one bolt, because I'm using both of my hands. Okay. This gets tiring sometimes. all the wire is there inside that's the tricky part for this this is what I hate the most about this fans that at the bottom it has all the wirings Okay, 
So I got uh, that's what I was talking about. All right, so we have to line that up. up. Okay, so I wasn't able to show the camera, but anyway, you got to put the uh, line it up, put it up, and put all the three screws that we took out. So that way that can be tight and secure. We're almost about to be done in here. And we just got one more screw there. And, okay. So what I'm doing, I'm putting the screw on the screwdriver and at the same time try to stick it in the hole. It wouldn't be that hard with two hands, but since I'm using one, it's really hard. My buddy right there is just lazy, he's not doing anything, so I'm by myself. So we've got this done. We got the plate cover. Now we gotta put the cover on, okay? Okay, so this uh, fan came with these two little tiny bulbs. And I'm just gonna install it before I do anything else. I'm gonna put the bulbs right in there. I want to make sure they work, and they do. This is for the fan, this is for the lights. Okay guys, the next step is we're going to remove this. All right. This is what's going to be holding the uh, lamp. Put it right there aside. And I want to show you how to put the lamp, I mean, not the lamp, the glass cover. It has two holes, the lamp cover. Obviously one is going to be for the uh, light and the other one for the fan. And you have to kind of guide them to there. You gotta make sure the uh, you gotta make sure the screw comes out, and then hold on. Okay, so then we put the little cover we tighten them up. And that's it. We have a fan installed, but we have one more. We have two extenders that we're gonna put. And I wanna show you how to put the extenders. This is how one of the ends look. We have to insert the ball through there. Like this, the camera, I don't know if the camera's gonna see it but kind of like an, an angle and then pop it pop it up and we got it okay. same to, thing to the other one my camera is not going to look it's not going to be able to see it but put it on and pop it and we got the light on okay everything is done everything is set it looks pretty let me show you and we're gonna test it right now. All right, so let's test the fan. We're gonna see if the light comes on. Beautiful, now we're gonna turn it on. Okay. It's working. All right, we got it done.
All right, guys, this is it. This is how I installed this uh, ceiling fan. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss my next video. It's going to be epic. Am I right, buddy?